throughout the election there Paige if we had yeah. throughout the election there was a focus on the lack of wage growth for working Americans then it seems that Congress and the president piled on with big tax cuts for the rich which uh, that's going to increase the deficit and it you know, it doesn't middle, benefit the middle class for the long term. There's initial tax cuts, which is great, but not for the long term. But the tax cuts for the wealthy and corporations seem to go on forever and ever and ever. So um, how does that address the promises that were made during the election that we're all for the working people? So when it came to, when it, thank you. Yeah. When it comes to uh, tax relief, my focus was always on small businesses and People working paycheck to paycheck, two, three jobs, the, the working middle income folks. That's that stuff is missing. Um, Ninety percent uh, of Americans are going to feel some tax relief here, starting in, initially in uh, in February with their first paycheck. Now, under the what's arcane <clears throat> rules of reconciliation, excuse me, you can only do some of this about ten years out. Uh, these the tax relief for individuals, it will will re up them in ten years or less, just like we did with short tax cuts, uh, tax cuts before that. You always extend them. Uh, I would like to extend them today. I, I don't know why we can't take up a bill here soon and just go ahead and do that. Give uh, folks certainly as well ten years out. Um, to really get the economy going. Um, there was a focus on uh, the large, larger business providers, creators, to make sure that there are certain, you know, billions of dollars invested. Some folks are making, some folks are still into the economy, and so they can make those decisions. And so, my focus is on the folks that I meet with every day. Those will be extended. People start seeing this relief soon. We doubled the child tax credit, doubled the standing deduction. Uh, just a lot of the deductions as well that people are concerned about, medical, student loans, uh, mortgage, uh, home interest, that kind of thing. Uh, and then and what about the deficit, them, which Republicans have always said was really important for them? Yeah. It's going to go crazy. So you look at certain kind of growth models, static, dynamic, but we're already seeing money come back right now that we can are using. But there is not an economist. The University of Chicago did... Um, a survey of the 30, like the 33 leading economists in the United States, Nobel Prize winners, teachers at Stanford and the University of Chicago and Harvard and all over the country, recognized as the leading economists in the country. And all of them said their deficit was going to boom. Well, I want to look at deficit equity, but I wasn't going to keep hardworking Iowans holding hostage for. Well, it's not hardworking Iowans that are going to benefit extensively from this, though. It's big corporations. And the big corporations are giving, they're saying, oh, we're going to give you a $1,000 bonus, or we're going to do this. That is a, a drop in the bucket compared to what they're going to reach. You tell him that a $1,000 bonus. Yeah, you tell I'm me not that. saying that's you, not a that, good that's thing. Real You're right money, that's real thing. money, but it's bribery <laughs> to the feds, like, West, like Wells Fargo. You know, they've screwed consumers for the last zillion years, and now they give everybody a 1000 bucks, and the feds say, Oh, is it Wells Fargo? Great. Well, no, actually, they opened millions of accounts that they shouldn't have done. And what do they get? They get a jillion dollar tax cut and they give people a bonus and everybody thinks they're wonderful. I mean, honestly, can't you, I agree, a thousand dollars is a lot of money. I don't doubt that for a second. But in the long run for Wells Fargo, it's nothing compared to what they're going to benefit from from this bill. I mean, I, I just, we, it, this crazy. So there's, 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 there's a lot more than just a thousand dollar bonus. Thing. My wife right at the age of seventy two went back to work because we didn't have enough money in income. So she's working at Sam's Club. Since the tax cuts passed, they gave her a raise and put her on full time. And Sam's Club just closed about sixty stores. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're remodeling. They're spending three and a half million dollars in West Des Moines or in yeah, they're they're in fulfillment centers. <laughs> They did, bucks. and it doesn't even touch what they're going to benefit from the tax. It my, doesn't even touch. My son works for Wells Fargo in Des Moines as a mortgage broker. 
He's living in a three hundred thousand dollar house. I'm living in a thirty eight thousand dollar house. That's my point. This <laughs> benefits the people at the top, not you. I mean, it's going to benefit you <laughs> well, for a little while, but not for long. Top. And I'm I'm not saying that we don't want more money in the economy, but geez, Louise, you see where it's going? I see what I see from these companies that are dedicating. Uh, hundreds of millions, if not billions, some of them maybe extend uh, the investment in their company, which will bring about more workers with better <coughs> work. Um, Wells Fargo is, is raising their minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. Walmart's raising their minimum wage. Well, let's see how this looks in companies five years. Companies are, are giving thousand dollar bonuses to everyone across the country. Uh, <laughs> 